good morning to everyone today we'll be going to start with the animal kingdom right animal kingdom in this animal kingdom you find basic two parts one is non caudate another is caudate another is caudate right so before going into it what is needed in this chapter the most important part of this chapter is at the last of the uh, chapter of this chapter in the ncrt you will find that there is a chart and this chart is explaining that chart is explaining about the all characteristics of the animals in a comparison form right so once we are talking about the animalia so it means we are talking about the complete animal kingdom so in this animal kingdom what we are going to study that is about their characteristics and their examples so this is a chapter in which you have to stick with the ncrt only before starting the chapter i was concluding that it is being grouped into two parts non caudate and caudate today's non caudate should be finished and uh, tomorrow we'll finish the caudates so i can give you some points which are very important in the point of view with the neat examination number one point about 5 to 20 million kind of organisms exist in our planet about 5 to 20 million kind of organisms exist on our planet so what i am saying i am saying that it is these are the kind of type of species present on our planet right organisms i was talking about organism and about 1.2 million animal species in which so far known one point they are 1.2 million type of animal species are there and about 0.2 to 0.5 million plant species are there and right now coming to the next point that uh, previously the animals were divided according to our ancient system of classification of animals do you have any idea regarding the ancient system of classification of animals indian system i am talking about not talking about the uh, you know uh, any other system indian system so there was a upanishad chandogya upanishad there was a chandogya upanishad in which the animals are grouped into three parts what they were anyone who just wanted to answer what these were three parts in which the animals are being grouped according to the chandogya upanishad the indian system of classification of animals they and all animals are being grouped into three parts it was jeevaja number 2 andaja and number 3 udbija and all of you knowing about this what does it is stands for jeevaja viviparous right andaja oviparous and number 3 udbija means vegetative origin vegetative origin is it clear to all so this was our system of classification of animals 